So we're here at the SID Display Week here in Los Angeles. And uh, who are you? Hi, I'm Jen Vale. I work for E Ink. And this is one of our new foldable prototypes. It's using an all plastic backplane. Um, this is a 10.2 inch display, 220 PPI, and it has a bending radius of 7.5 millimeters. And it closes up and you would uh, maybe uh, just snap it up and it would just, yep. uh, like this one for example, has... Yep, it has a snap. Somebody uh, broke our demo here. But essentially... Right there, it snaps up. together. Yep. It's magnetic, kind of. It is. And then, and then, uh, how's the, the readability uh, compared to other e-ink readers? So it's very similar to any of the other e-readers we have on the market. This one is featuring a 220 PPI, as I mentioned. That looks really cool. Yep. So 270 PPI. What's the latest in Carta? The latest uh, kind of Kindles. What PPI do they have? Um, I believe that they are the same resolution. So it's full kind of like Carta experience but flexible. Correct. This is Mobius? It is a Mobius display, yes. All right. So how soon is this in mass production? Well, that's up to our customers. So we're ready to work with somebody. You call us. We will arm you with a Mobius display. Is it just and a you can make a new device. Battery life like e-ink, like usual? Yep. It's the exact same benefits as any of our other um, displays. So you pull the plug and the display retains the image, doesn't take any power. It looks great. It looks Thank very you. readable. It looks like, uh, and it's so light, so thin. Yep, no glass. Makes it super lightweight. Nice. Plastics, the future of... Uh... Then I'm looking on this side over here. Sure. Uh, you have a dress, it's just a blue dress, but whoa, what's going on here? So this is a dress that DNP made for their retail tech show in Japan. Um, it's using our prism film, which is still a two pigment system. This one is white and blue. They've printed actually on top of the ink layer so that this design will show up when it changes colors. This is beautiful. How, how's this? I, I, I knew about the segmented uh, e-ink color and stuff, but how can they have so many colors? There's like three colors? What's going so on? So this one is two colors. So it's it blue like and white, three. but they printed the yellow on top of the ink. This is so it gives you the impression that there's more going on. Ah, you can just print. And then when yeah. it goes blue, you don't really see the yellow. Correct. Whoa. And even, you, even though you see something, it's still cool. It's kind of like green. Yeah. So they, um, online, they have some videos. So you can see a different color dress. They've got an orange and red one. And it's used the same material that's up here. It's our prism film. So we have it for architecture and um, other interior design. And actually, the e ink logo up there is changing lighting is so great so it doesn't nice. really see but so this is for the architecture you want to be covering all the buildings with huge uh of architecture. course we would like to let's go yep. let's go over here and uh here you have uh so this is one of our 42 inch displays um this one is with our customer gds so they do signage um for transportation for retail etc so here you can see they're actually showing some retail menu boards Nice. So that's 42 inch? It is a 42 inch active matrix glass based display. Uh, is this in full mass production? Is there a lot of this out, out there in the world or still not so much? Um, so we are selling it directly to our customers. Um, they're working with retailers to put it in stores. So we have some installations in Taiwan right now. Um, and I believe that there are some in Europe as well. Nice. Okay. Let's, let's move over there. Can sure. you introduce these guys? Hello. 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 So these are Hi. our friends from Plastic Logic, and they can talk a little bit about the demos that they're showing here at our booth. Hello. So who Thank are you? Thank you. Who are you? Uh, my name is Sebastian, and I'm working for Plastic Logic, and we are happy to be here on the, at the booth of Ink. Thanks to Ink. And look, these are our products. And here you have a flexible, what's the size of this one? Exactly. This is a 10.7 inch display. 10.7? And um, because of a different backplane, of course we are using e technology, but we have a different backplane and that in combination brings a highly robust flexible display to the market. Where is the backplane? Is that on the back? What is it's on the back. It's behind, is what, it's all behind this stuff the behind? electrophoretic layer. C can you show around? Yeah, but you will not see anything because it's uh, it's encapsulated. So, so usual e-ink displays have a glass here? Exactly. And you just have plastic? We have another display transistor, uh, another transistor structure. So the backplane is based on organic materials instead of traditional silicon. 
and um, this in combination with the eating material is exactly um, bringing us to a flexible discipline. And you have uh, all, all shapes, any shape, you just cut um, it with scissors, how does it work? No, we uh, have to design them. So if a customer comes for a special design, um, we like collect their needs. Looks like a phone? A special design. Or this That's for example for a phone, right? This is for a watch, for a hybrid watch, for example. So how soon is this going to happen, that people are going to have unbreakable, flexible phones that have like months battery life? How far are we from this? Um, not that far, yeah, but it's at the moment um, it's more a question of uh, the color performance. And as you can see here, um, we have some color displays, but it's maybe not that what the customer is expecting for this special application. I think black and white is just fine. Uh, they should be unlimited. It's great. Yeah. Un unlimited. Uh, I want a phone with this uh, and a tablet. I mean, uh, you, you, can, you can do touch, you can do stylus on this. Yes, we can do that. Yeah. All right. And uh, this is kind of like, what is this small one? It's just an example of a smaller display um, running a slideshow now to show what we can do. All right, cool. All right, thanks a lot. Thank You're you. welcome. Thank you very much. There's some displays that... Um, yeah, so these of? are um, conference room signages. They are the Jones system that our customer Vision Act has launched. Um, so they've got a 6-inch display and then a 9.7-inch. Um, this way people can see exactly what's happening in a conference room. It's integrated with Outlook, uh, Google um, calendars, a number of different systems. And you're actually able to change um, your, conference, um, your conference room timing on the display as well or use your calendar system. Companies like uh, Google should have these for every meeting room, right? I agree. We have them at Inc. In There's every already uh, big quantities shipping. I think yes, this is there the market. Are. Yes. And uh, if you look around here, uh, you have uh, you have a few more things. Are yeah. Showing... So we have the new Sony FES watch. So let's let's hold it up here. Sure. So this is the FES two. Yes, new. it is. This is with the active metri matrix. Yep. And you can see the display goes all the way around as well. All right. So you can control the patterns of what's on here by your phone app. Um, unfortunately, I do not have a Japanese oh, cell phone here to show you. Let's show it just in front of the light right here, uh, in front of my light, yeah. So it's possible to configure what's being shown. It is. And if you can turn it a little bit. And this display all the way around. And this is mass production, this is real. It is, you can buy it now. And the battery life might be very long. Depends on how often you choose to change your pattern. But yes, right. quite a long battery life. And uh, you also have other stuff you're showing around here? Yep, so this is the um, Amazon Oasis um, device. <laughs> this is like the Voyager Advanced, the most yes. advanced they have? Yep, yep. Um, and then here we actually have a smart card. So the way that this would work is um, you would essentially be able to update it through NFC. So it would be something similar to be used in um, train stations, for example. If you had an a, a easy pass sort of system, you would come through, you would flash it, and then the display would give show you an much? update on what might your balance be. It could maybe also show you how much it cost the last ride. Yep, exactly. Some stuff like that. Yep. And it doesn't make it thicker. Nope, it's the Barely. same size as a credit card. So every credit card should have e-ink. I agree. You're working towards <laughs> that, right? Yes, we are. All right. And uh, here's a Quirk Logic, 42 inch, very cool, large display. Uh, and maybe you can yep. so describe this. So this is an interactive whiteboard. Yeah. Um, so you would be able to write on the display here. You can actually move it across the whiteboard. You can enlarge it. Oh, yeah. And then you can send it to a partner whiteboard that you might have in another room. Nice. This is the ultimate. Uh, this is the ultimate whiteboard that every organization should have. Yes. School is yep. happening, right? It this is. Year? So we have shipped to Quirk Logic or to Quilla, who's making the Quirk Logic boards, and the um, displays should be for sale towards the end of the year. And uh, so that means you are you are delivering. They're not waiting for you to ship the displays, Correct. right? That's this correct. is ready. 
It's ready. Display is ready. Yes. How about this kind of stuff? Uh, how soon will we be able to go in the, in the stores and buy amazing dresses like this? Yeah. So this is a demonstrator unit that DNP did for the Retail Tech Show in Japan. And really what they were just trying to do was show something cool and interesting and track traffic to their booth. So they're using the Prism Architecture film. They've printed on top of it. Um, you know, we would love to see people integrating e-ink into textiles. We'll have to see if we can find a partner who's willing to do it. You should be able to trigger it with your smartwatch or something. When you when you flick your wrist, your dress changes that color. That would be an awesome and idea. And then you can kind of like... You need to be our product manager. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just blogging ideas yeah. for you. And then this one is coming... So we are ready to work with customers now. We do yeah. not have who is launching at a certain timeline at this moment. We're working with several different customers. As soon as they come and say, hey, let's have a million units, mm -hmm. you can just deliver. That would be the goal. Okay. All right. Cool. And uh, lots more happening. All, all kinds of other stuff. Yes. Uh, looking forward to uh, buildings, more displays, and uh, amazing fashion. Yes.